I'm Judy Satori. I'm a spiritual channel. I receive messages and transmit energy words of new creation from a more expanded source creation energy that comes from a place that spirit call beyond the beyond. This is an energy source of new creation for Earth and for us as human beings. This new creation energy is streaming to Earth from the heart center of 22 galaxies, configured together in a vast multi-galactic God creation matrix. Put simply, it's an enhanced, more powerful God creation energy, and it's beginning to transform and upgrade everything about our human selves and about life on Earth. It's divinely planned, a process of human evolutionary upgrade. In 2020, there is another wave of upliftment and consciousness expansion, taking Earth through a process of profound awakening. We are now beginning to receive an upgrade in what it is to be human. This is Ascension. So when they transmit this energy, I don't know what I'm going to speak in advance. It just comes through me because that's my role. That's what I've been trained to do. I've been trained to be a conduit for the energy. I think part of it is because in one or more past lives, probably way, way back, on some other star system somewhere, I could actually do it. And so I know how to do it. So what I'm doing is remembering. So just like all of you, this is the time for all of us to remember. It's the time to remember the truth, the authenticity of who we are. And so all of these Ascension Library programs, particularly uh, the Ascension New programs and Beautiful and God Goddess and the 21 Energy Keys, they're all about expansion. They're all about helping us remember so that we can contribute, play our part, do what we have come to do. And when we listen, because that's really all we have to do, these activator codes will subtly change us. And the more we repeat, 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 the more they will go deeper and balance these out of pitch, disharmonious, karmic miasmic vibrations that are on all levels of our being, body, mind and spirit, even deep within the facets of the chakras we hold them. So this incoherent off-pitch energy is being smoothed and harmonized and transmuted. And it works a little bit like homeopathy works if you've ever uh, taken homeopathic medicines or if you've ever used flower essences like bark flowers. You know, in the, in the 1930s, um, Dr. Bach discovered that plants have an energy and that if, if you used a very uh, potentized version of that energy of that plant, a very subtle energy, it could balance the emotions within a human being related to the gift of that plant, what it was, what it was particularly related to. So what we're doing with the light language, the energy language, is we're working a little bit like that to cancel out, harmonize and clear energy patterns that are distorted within body, mind and spirit and also within our energy field because we have seven levels of energy around us. Um, the three levels of the field that are closest to the body relate specifically to the body and then there's the astral level which is like the bridge between the human physical self and the energy self. And then the outer levels of the field are to do with spirit, soul, the timeless soul aspect of ourself. And when we leave this body, that the outer levels of the field uh, go with the soul, and the inner levels of the field is, are not really required anymore because they're part of our physical body and the energy of our body. And the energy conduit, conduit or conjunction between spirit, soul, and body, and they go. So when I did my energy healing training, because after I did physiotherapy, I also trained in the Barbara Ann Brennan model of working with the human energy field and auric healing. I learned a lot about karma, and I learned a lot about karmic miasmic patterning in particular. And what I discovered is that the, when I started to speak the languages of life, which was in 2002, I began to discover that these energy words that were coming out of my mouth, like the dit, 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 cadences that were coming out of my mouth, 
had the ability to clear the disordered patterns of thought and emotion that get um, like set to play, like, a, like putting a finger on a play button on a tape recorder. Because we've all had these past lives, we've had hundreds of past lives, really, not just on Earth, but maybe in other star systems. And what happens is that if there is a traumatic experience in one or more of these past lives, it creates an energetic reaction within us. Of course it does. We have an emotional reaction. We can have a, a physical reaction if we're being killed in that particular past life. Take, for example, having your neck cut off, you know, being guillotined. This is going to create an energy effect, not just on the mind with the emotions and the fear involved in that, but it's also going to create an energy reaction on the body. And this trauma, which is taken into the body, like a projected energy taken into the body, comes with us or comes with the soul um, in sub into subsequent lives. This is when I talk about the morphogenetic fields. Morpho means to build. And so the morphogenetic fields are like the substrate patterns of sound and light on which, which um, the physical body is literally created on this light grid pattern in this lifetime. Years ago, I had this strange red mark come up on my neck. And it was when I was working with clients uh, doing energy healing work with my hands. And one day the person didn't arrive. And I, I also noticed that the strange red mark was getting worse. So I went and lay down on the massage table in my healing room. And I said to spirit, to my guides, what's going on? Why is this mark here? What's happening? And I started to feel the emotion of being strangled, of having choking around my neck. And I lay on the massage table spluttering and choking for about five minutes and coughing and, and speaking language. And when I got up and I went to the bathroom, I felt so much better. And I noticed that the red mark had disappeared because karmic miasmic patterning, this disordered energy that we we all have and we're all releasing, particularly right now, because what is happening right now is that every time there's more and more powerful energy coming into Earth, which is part of the ascension process from, from um, the center of this galaxy, but also the center of the diamond as part of ascension change and ascension upgrade, more of this energy distortion, which is like the lower vibrational, disordered patterning within our soul song, which should be really harmonious, is coming up to release. And so we will either feel it as a unpleasant emotion, as a thought, maybe a fear or anxiety. We will also feel it as, um, we might not even feel it, we might not even know, but we might just feel a bit physically unwell. And this feeling of being physically unwell is because on a very deep level of us, bypassing the thought and emotion, there is an energy, karmic miasmic energy pattern locked away within the cells of the body or deep within the roots and facets of the chakras that is being triggered by this more and more powerful energy that's coming to earth, streaming to earth, to be released. And so Karma, karmic miasmic patterning can get triggered to play, and we experience it in our day-to-day -day life, when there is a situation that triggers it in our life. You know, someone says something to you and you react. But the way we know it's karma and not just a normal sort of feeling off is that the karmic reaction that you have to this kind of karmic miasmic release is way out of proportion to the situation that triggered it. Because it, it is a, usually a minor trigger, other people wouldn't react, but you or we might react because that particular energy pattern is very, very much ready to be released within us and it's right out there, vibrating away. And so, because of the law of cause and effect, because that's what karma really is, what we are is what we attract. If this karmic pattern is vibrating and we're very aware of it and it's really 
uppermost for us, then we are probably going to attract a situation in our, li in our life so that this can be vibrating and that we can release it. You know, in the, in the library, there are many programs. If we go to Healing the Pain, for example, Healing the Pain is about clearing the projected energy of other people. So this is clearing the energy of other people from a previous lifetime, like they've burnt us at the stake, they've condemned us, they've stopped us from speaking our truth, they've injured us in some way. This is the perfect program to go to. And it's a 14-day program of energy healing and clearing, which is about rising up. You can also use specific energy tracks out of the programs at any time. Because I really want everybody to use the library like a toolkit where you can dip into what you feel you want to dip into. All you've really got to look at and feel is, what am I feeling? What am I sensing? What is going on for me today? And then look at the categories and think, what do I need?